Hello everyone, you are on VRM24.com channel and today we will be taking apart POCO X6 Pro 5G. First of all, as usual, we need to remove the SIM card tray. For this we use special tool, push the tray out and set it aside. After that we need to heat the surface of the back core to approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We use a heating pad for this, but you can also use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 10 minutes, we can move on to detaching the back cover. To do this, we use a thin plastic film. This film can be from a stationary store or a protective film from a new display. We insert it into the gap between the back cover and the mid frame and carefully slide it along the edge to cut through the adhesive layer. As always, be careful around the camera so you don't accidentally touch the lenses. Ok, we carefully go around the edge, make sure not to insert the film too deep, since we don't know what is under the back cover. There is no need to rush or apply force to avoid accidentally damaging anything. Once that is done, we can open the back cover. As we can see, there is nothing attached to the back cover itself. Next, we need to protect the camera lenses. We use a special film for this. Please note that we place the protective film not on the lenses themselves, but on the rim around them. Then we move on to unscrewing the screws at the top. For this we use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips hash 3 We place the screws on a special surface in order, just in case. If the screws are difficult to unscrew or remove, we use tweezers to take them out. Also, please note that sometimes one or two screws may be missed and you may try to leave the cover. Don't force it, if the cover doesn't come off easily, double check and remove any remaining screws first, then the cover will come off smoothly. Next, using a non-metallic tool, we disconnect the two battery connectors and move on to the bottom part. At the bottom, we need to unscrew the screws using the same 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 o We place the screws on a special surface. If the screws are hard to remove, the wizards can help. After that, we move on to detaching the cover, probably the one with a speaker. We find the correct spot to lift it, gently pry it up and remove the cover. In our case, the back cover was glued with a sealant. We can see traces of sealant in different spots covering various openings. This is why we cannot disconnect the coaxial cable, since it is glued with a sealant. Because of this, we will detach the small antenna board instead. We carefully pry at the edge, the board comes off easily. On the other side, you can see the coaxial cable connector. Carefully remove it from the speaker cover. We can now set aside the small antenna board and the speaker, leaving coaxial cable in the display frame. Next, we move on to disconnecting the connectors. Disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector, the interboard cable connector and the second coaxial cable connector. We can now remove the subboard. It is slightly recessed, so check that nothing is obstructing it carefully remove the subboard. On the subboard we have the microphone under a shield, 
the charging port and the card connector on the back side. In the display frame, the fingerprint sensor and vibration motor remain. Now for our usual quick microphone opening test. The microphone hole is very narrow, making it hard to insert anything. Still, it has an L shape in the display frame. On the back, there is a pad and the microphone body is on the subboard on the back side. Even if we manage to insert something into the microphone hole, we won't be able to damage the microphone this way. Next, we move on to the motherboard. First, we can disconnect the cameras. Detach the rear cameras, they come off easily. And set them aside so they don't get in the way. Then we can disconnect the front camera. It is best to cover the front camera lens with a special film to prevent dust or debris from getting on it. And set the front camera aside. After that, we disconnect the interboard cable connector and the display cable connector. We also need to disconnect the coaxial cable connector and free the cable from the clips holding it on the motherboard. We can then try to remove the motherboard, which comes off fairly easily. Please note that the back side of the motherboard may be held in place with a thermal paste. Regarding to the microphone opening at the top, it is the same situation, very narrow, L-shaped, with a pad on the back, the microphone body is on the motherboard's back side, so even if we insert something into the hole, we won't be able to damage the microphone. And finally, we move on to detaching the battery. Traditionally for POCO, there are two brown tabs that need to be peeled back. Then read the description. Based on the description, we peel back the tab in the middle and the tabs located on the edges should be carefully pulled upward. We pull the tabs upward to detach the battery. Under the battery is a transparent protective layer that protects the interboard cables. At this point, this assembly is complete. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in our new videos, either on our Telegram channel or on our website. Okay, guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.